Hi, this is Mr. Barr, and this IXL, uh, IXL deals with rotations, graphing an image. Now, you're going to notice I'm going to use a lot of graph paper on this one. So I have my graph paper, and I've cut it into small squares. So first off, I'm going to plot this point A. It's at 4, negative 5. So 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there is the point A. And it says to rotate it 270 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, so this is 90, 180, 270. So it's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, excuse me, negative 5, negative 4. So I'm going to put the point at negative 5, negative 4. That's my rotation. That is A prime. Keep it up. So how I'm going to do this, I'm going to start. I can reuse this piece of paper. I've got an eraser. And it, I'm going to plot this point at, well, oh, it has it for me. So negative 5, 10. So plot it at negative 5, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10. This is point C. And it says to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. So clockwise, 90 degrees. Where's this point at? It's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10, comma, 5. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There it is after the rotation. So it gave me the point. So again, I'm going to erase my last one. And I'll keep doing that until this thing gets too messy. Then I'll get another piece of paper. 7, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's 7, 4. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. Where is that? That's at 1, 2, 3, 4, comma 7. 4, comma 7. So 4, comma 7. There's the rotation. Ah, oh, what did I do? Ah, oh, it's a, oh my goodness. Do you see what I did? It, I, Wow, okay. Yep, slow down, bar. Let's try it again. It's going to be tough to get into the challenge zone with answers like that. So negative 3, negative 5. Let's start with that one. Negative 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Rotate it 270 clockwise. 90, 80, 270. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down 3. 5, down 3. How about that? Eight comma six. Eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six. There's the initial point one eighty clockwise. It doesn't matter because one eighty is going to clockwise or counterclockwise does the same thing. But I'll go clockwise. Ninety one eighty. It's going to put me at negative one two three four five six seven eight negative one two three four five six. So negative 8, negative 6. So 9, comma 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, comma 1. With a 90 degrees counterclockwise, that's going to put me at negative 1, negative 9. Negative 1, negative 
I'm at 4, 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 270 clockwise, 90, 180, 270. That's going to put me at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, positive 4, negative 6, positive 4. Where am I at? 40. I'm not even to 50 yet. Oh my goodness. Hopefully these get more challenging. Negative 5, negative 8. So negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's the point. Negative 5, negative 8. And I want to rotate at 180. It says counterclockwise, doesn't matter, but I'll go counter. 90, 180. So I'm at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, comma, 8. All right, so I'm down here at negative 10, no, 6, comma, negative 10. Tight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's the point right there. And the rotation is 90 clockwise around the origin. Clockwise. So that's going to put me at negative 10, negative 6. I'm going to keep going until I get some shapes. Some shapes will show up eventually. 5, negative 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 270 counterclockwise. 90, 80, 270. Puts me at negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 5. Negative 4. Negative 5, does that make sense with, yeah, that looks good. Negative 3, 1. Negative 3, 1 is right there. 180 clockwise, 90, 180 clockwise puts me at 3, negative 1. 3, negative 1 is right there. 1, negative 2, 1, negative 2 is right there, rotate 90 counterclockwise, that puts me at 2, 1, I'm going to check my smart score, 71, I'm in this, okay, maybe I got to get to 80 for something interesting to happen, let's keep going. Uh, negative 4, negative 2, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 2 is right there. Going to rotate it 180 clockwise. Puts me at 4, 2. Five, negative 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 90 counterclockwise, that's going to put me at 8, 5. I have it at 8, 9. I can't even fit this one. 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And 180 clockwise. So that's going to put me at negative 8, negative 9. Oh, really? I'm at 80. Nothing's happening. I 
keep going, keep going, bar, keep going. I want to see what happens. Some sometimes it's got to give me some shapes, doesn't it? Ten, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one eighty counterclockwise. So that's negative ten, negative seven. Hey, okay, good. So when did it change? All right, I'm going to do two shapes. This is what you really need to be able to do. If I take this shape, it's at 3, negative 2. So 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 2. Boom. Okay, so here's the initial rectangle right there. I'm going to rotate this 270 clockwise, 90, 80, 270. So now I'm going to take that exact same shape and I'm going to build it right here. It's at 3, 2. No, it's at 2, 3. There's the bottom of it. That's this point right there. I just did that point. Now off of that point, I'm going to build the shape. It goes over 2, up 3, over 2. There it is after the rotation. All right, so let's start by plotting this shape. I'm going to get over negative 8. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This guy's at negative two, one, one, two, three. Okay, there's the initial shape. So there's the shape. This is V, U, S, T. 180 clockwise, so 90, well, it says counterclockwise, 90, 180, clockwise, counterclockwise, it's not going to matter. So this point is over 2, down 1. So I go over 2, down 1. So I just did that point. Now I need to go down 1, 2, 3 from there. 1, 2, 3. To get to this guy, I need to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So down 6, over 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, my light went off. And then from there, I got to get my lights again so I can see what I'm doing. So I plotted this point, and from there, I need to go up one, two, three, four, five. Let's go up five. One, two, three, four, five. There's the shape after a rotation of 180 degrees. Awesome. All right, that is what you need to be able to do. A little bit longer video. Get out the white, uh, get out the graph paper and a pencil. This is how to do it. I don't have a, I don't have a better way. Are there faster ways? Yes. Do people play little games with the points and realize, oh, I'm going to change it to negatives and positives? Yes. That's not the way I teach it. Get out a piece of graph paper, graph these things, and then rotate that paper. Thanks for watching.